Ile shida tunapitia wale wanaume wa mwa kirinyaga ni kwa mwa mabibi wetu wanapenda mchele sana Mushere, unayambia ukipita pale mwe ya grubani Nilete mchele ya kule nyumbani Lakini most of the time nikifika pale nikinunua mchele na fika nyumbani na yambua Mimi siku kuambia ununua mchele ya Pakistan ili kuambia ununua ya mwe Nasema nilunua pale Na yambua apana isi ya mwe Iyo ni kumanisha mwashumua rice Kwa mba mchele ya kuko inji ya mbae atujali Usually find its way somewhere here. It is because our people here are not supported to produce enough to keep away the products that compete with them. Kama bei ya, kuprodu, ya production iko juu, si bei pia mchele itakuwa juu. Hiyo yeah. ndiyo sababu ile ya inja inakuja, inapeana competition, nikifika nyumbani ni mebeba karibu ni chapwa. Lakini sikuizi ni mejua kunusa, na vikanga pale nasema pishori na nuzia marambili, ikinuka vizuri na beba. Kwa hivyo sina shida sana. Ya mwisho, Watu wetu wa Kirinyaga na Kenya. I have seen attempts by the opposition or people who don't support our government putting pressure on our president on issues that have been there even before we came to power. Issues of food prices, issue ya bei ya mafuta, issue ya vitu ingine mingi. Mimi nasema kama mukenya ambaye najua kujenga nyumba. Ukepewa nyumba ambaye ilikuwa imejengwa ikifika katikati. Ujengi. Ukiangalia one pande moja inagemea, ina, ina inepepea. Inabidi ubomoe pande hiyo, uweke musingi ingine timamu, die nyumba isimame. Kweli ya maurongo. So you don't expect our president to come in today and the prices of unga, prices of oil, ishuka na siku hiyo. Itabidi sa ingine baka akate ata budget ya non-essential commodities kama vila amesema 300 billion itaenda. Ili abomoe ajenge vizuri ile Kenya isimame Nataka kukumbusha kwamba kuna siku ilikuja mwea Hade ya hebu, mwea wote Na ulisema kwamba e, hii fiba dami ikiisha Utakuja ujeleke kwa watu wa kirinyaka Utuombe kamferedi kadogo kamaji Kateremuke baka mwea Jiwata watu wetu wa mwea pate maji Sasa nimekuja kukumbusha Nimeambia waziri wa maji hata kama njaingia kwa mba kuna maji na teilemea pande hii Sasa kuja emu tutekenezee damu kama hii Na tuko na damu skatu kule emu pia Anjiwa weo pemu excellency Tuko na damu ya koshi Ambaye ineshika pande ya daraka nidi na pande ya emu And that is why my siope mudomi are here today To remind you that there is an important damu kule emu Ambaye itakulitaji Pia tuko na ya kamomo, na diyo maana mweshimua rukua kwa haba, na tuko na ya rupingazi, diyo maana mweshimua mkoji ya kwa haba. The Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Honorable Rigathi Gashagwa, my colleagues, governors, all the political class here present, na wanainchi wa kerenyaga mwearo, God is good and all the time Asanti Tumeshkuru sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo and your excellence when I was told you are coming I decided I must come I came because I know the story of water storage is the best story going forward for this country and I know you are very committed Wewe mwenyewe uko very committed kuenshua kwamba tumejenga dams kila mahali so that ile ukame tukonayo ikue a thing of the past tukiendelea mbele. Na mimi nimekuja hapa yo excellency kwanza kushukuru watu wa kirinyaga, wanainchi wa kirinyaga kwa kuchagua mama waigoro tamu ya pili. Hongera. Pia... Ni kuambia Your Excellency, part of the reason why watu wa embu wali nichagua kama mama Ni kusikia zile story mzuri zinatoka kirenyaga Kama huyu mama ange fanya kazi mzuri hata mimi singe chaguliwa kule embu So I want to thank her for the great job she has done to the people of kirenyaga Na mekua my consultant Yes, sasa ndia naenda kwake, ananielezea enda hivi, enda hivi, enda hivi Kwa sababu mimi ni mono Yeah, and the Ananitoa Yo Mono.
na nafanya kazi nzuri sana. Pia your excellency you gave me a task. Uliniambia niahikishe Governor Waiguru amekuwa chair wa Council of Governors. And because uliniamrisha mimi nilienda nikafanya campaign nikahakikisha amekuwa chair wa Council of Governors. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu I delivered sasa kuja embu tutengeneze damu kama hii. Na tuko na dams tatu kule embu pia and you are aware of them your excellency tuko na damu ya doshi ambayo inashika pande ya dharaka nidhi na pande ya embu and that is why my servant mudomi are here today to remind you that there is an important dam kule embu ambayo itakuhitaji pia tuko na ya kamomo na ndio maana mheshimiwa rukoa ko hapa na tuko na ya rupingazi ndio maana mheshimiwa mkonji yako hapa wakiongozwa na senator wetu mundigi kwa hiyo toka kuvoya wanatu ndo wetu ndo kwe mundu mundu anga mundu anga na mundu anga ine weka tia so mimi nimekuja kuongea mambo ya ya embu kwa sababu nilisikia mkubwa wako hapa karibu nikakimbia kuje nimwambie shida za embu so your excellency we look forward to welcoming you to embu ukimaliza kirenyaga tafadhali kuja embu tuko hapo tunakungoja utuletee maendeleo and we love you very very much and i know you know that Finally, Your Excellency, nataka kukumbusha kwamba kuna siku ulikuja Mwea pande ya Embu, Mwea Ward. Na ulisema kwamba hii eh, Thiba Dam ikiisha utakuja unyenyekee kwa watu wa Kirenyaga, utuombee kamfereji kadogo ka maji, kateremuke mpaka Mwea, ndio hata watu wetu wa Mwea pate maji. Sasa nimekuja kukukumbusha Nimeambia waziri wa maji hata kama hajaingia kwamba kuna maji ninategemea pande hii na mwe ndo wake denyaka nienda kumvoya kama pipe kanini tu kamae kadirate viando wako pole amwe amugetekera na gakite tukatu kama bato nini to nini to nini asoka kinyere ndo wako Mungu awabariki your excellency thank you very much deputy president thank you we love you rigiji keep coming god bless you thank you very much Eh gavana wa Embu tumemmsikia ni dada yangu na sisi tutasema tu siaongee vizuri alafu sisi maji ikipita ipitie kwetu iende imeshika watu wote wa Mwea ndio tufike hiyo upande mwingine Asante sana gavana Sisili sasa ningependa kuomba ndugu yangu kutoka Tharakanithi gavana Mudhomi Njuki asalimie watu wa Kirinyaga na niseme hivi sijui kama mnajua na moe mother minjuki ne in law wito kama mjui mrs mother minjuki ametoka kirenyaga county ni dada yetu kwa hivyo yeye ni in law kule council of governors ninamuita mudhoniwa karibu sana Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa. Unajua nikiwa kwa wadhoni sa ingine na endanga na mnaio. But I mean well. His Excellency, the Governor, all the elected leaders, na viongozi wa national government, adua kere njaga murega. Murega rege. Unajua Madam Waino Waiguru wa metoboa siri ukiwa kwa in-laws unakanyanga pole pole kwa sabu naeza kuwa ujamaliza kukuli. Unaweka deep stick kusikiza vile kere njaga inasema. Unajua mimi niko na kaunte mbili vile umesikia. Kuna vile ningeenda kule nishindwe kutembea hapa. But I was very happy. Wakati Kirenyaga na Tharakanithi iliongea lugha moja ambaye ni lugha ya Kenya kwanza, lugha ya, ya, ya president wetu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ambaye yuko sahi. Si tutatembea pamoja vizuri. Na niseme 
rais wetu hawa wangwana wa Kirinyaga ambaye ninataka ku confess kwamba wale the best wives come from here ile shida tunapitia wale wanaume wa wa Kirinyaga ni kwamba mabibi wetu wanapenda mchele sana mshere unaambiwa ukipita pale mwea grubani niletee mchele ya kule nyumbani lakini most of the time nikifika pale nikinunua mchele nafika nyumbani naambiwa mimi siku mchele ya Pakistan nilikwambia ununue ya mwea nasema ninunua pale naambiwa hapana hii si ya mwea hiyo ni kumaanisha mheshimiwa rais kwamba mchele ya kuko nje ambaye atujali usually find its way somewhere here it is because our people here are not supported to produce enough to keep away the products that compete with them kama bei ya, ya production iko juu si bei pia mchele itakuwa juu hiyo ndiyo sababu ile ya inje inakuja inapeana competition nikifika nyumbani nimebeba karibu nichapwa lakini siku hizi nimejua kunusa na vikanga pale nasema pishori na nuzia mara mbili ikinuka vizuri inabeba kwa hivyo sina shida sana ya mwisho Kenya. I have seen attempts by a, the opposition or people who don't support our government putting pressure on our president on issues that have been there even before we came to power. Issues of food prices, issue ya bei ya mafuta, issue ya vitu vingine mingi. Mimi nasema kama mkenya ambaye anajua kujenga nyumba Ukipewa nyumba ambayo ilikuwa imejengwa ikifika katikati ujenge. Ukiangalia uone pande moja ina ina inagemea inepepea. Inabidi ubomoe pande hiyo uweke msingi ingine timamu die nyumba isimame. Kweli ama urongo? So you don't expect